part of this meal is going to be Jamaican rice and peas. So I have the Camilla beans that I've been soaking, and now I'm gonna pour them, including the water that they were soaking in, into my Dutch oven for cooking. You wanna make sure, once these are spread out, you put your finger in there and it should go to the top line of your finger. That's about how much water you wanna be over your beans at all times. I'm gonna keep a pot of hot water on the back stove so that every time I need to put more water in there, it's hot water and it's not starting the cooking process again. So here are the peas getting ready to be boiled and that's the hot water that I am preparing so that anytime these cook down, add more water until they're nice and tender. Now that these have come to a rolling boil, I'm gonna put the top on it and let them simmer. Now that the peas are a little softened, see that? You can mash a few of them and see how soft they are. Okay. Now we're gonna add the rest of the seasoning to it. That includes scallion, the green and the white, the entire scallion, put that in there. Then you're gonna add chopped garlic. Yellow onion, about a half a yellow onion. I'm gonna add your thyme. These I just put in the whole sprig. Okay, stir that up. Let that cook down for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna add a couple of whole allspice to it. And you're gonna add salt. And always add more later. Give that a gentle stir. After the vegetables are cooked down and pretty nicely in there, then we're gonna add our rice directly into the pot. Okay, so now you add your washed white rice. I use the jasmine rice. I like that better. This is two cups of rice that you're gonna add directly into the peas. Uncooked. <laughs> Have your rice and then your grace coconut milk. Gently stir that together. This is where you cover it and let it simmer till you just like you're cooking regular rice. Okay, for the rice and peas, I'm gonna stir them a little gently. Make sure they're not burning on the bottom or sticking to the bottom. We have a few more minutes of cook time. So the liquid has completely evaporated. So you want to make sure it's not sticking. So just a gentle stir. Gotta keep those tears at bay.